The premier of Manitoba has declared a state of emergency following an early blast of winter weather. A storm dumped up to 70 centimeters of snow, damaging and destroying thousands of trees and knocking out power to tens of thousands of customers across southern Manitoba. Global's Brittany Greenslade is in Winnipeg with more on this storm. So, Brittany, what's the latest? Well, need to some good news this morning. We're starting to see highways reopening in some parts of the western area of the province that have been closed for a number of days. And power is starting to get restored. There's about 2,500 customers still without power here in Winnipeg. But in the province, it's a bigger problem. 37,000 people still without power, forcing Premier Brian Powell to declare that state of emergency. Now, here in Winnipeg, more than 34 centimeters of snow fell throughout this storm. Manitoba Hydro saw record-breaking outages, power getting knocked out to more than 150,000 customers. Streets were littered with snap trees and power lines completely ripped out. But outside the city, it's even worse. Some areas seeing 74 centimeters of snow. Manitoba Hydro's infrastructure simply can't keep up. We've seen 115,000 volt transmission lines snapped in half. Hundreds of hydro poles completely destroyed. Now outages in healthcare facilities, seniors' homes, places that are needing to use backup generators. Some areas going on their third day with not just no power, but no sewer or water. Highways west of Winnipeg, still some closed. We did say some have just reopened this morning. Now, areas like Portage La Prairie, where there's 8,000 customers still without power there, they haven't had power since Friday. All of the hotels and motels were full, continue to be full. The city had to open an emergency shelter where they were helping some 60 people, many who were on the road traveling for Thanksgiving, that got stranded. Now, that city's even asking people there to not flush their toilets to conserve water due to sewer problems. And for some people, Premier Brian Pallister says this could last for a number more days. But it's not just the city of Portage and Prairie that is impacted. We have a number of adjacent communities, indigenous communities are completely without power right now, more than a dozen. And so uh, expediting uh, um, hydro repairs is of top priority right now. We anticipate in some areas there may continue to be power outages for as much as four or five days. Um, and we will continue to monitor the situation as we have been. I would also say um, uh, to all Manitobans, remember Thanksgiving is a time to celebrate your safety and your family and friends would want you to stay safe wherever you are. We can celebrate together after we get things back to working order. Now, Nietzsche, one of the major problems is that Manitoba Hydro simply can't even get into some of these areas yet to even begin to assess the damage. We showed you those transmission lines that have been cut in half and snapped. That's going to be some major repairs that they're going to be having to deal with in some parts of the province there. Now, we are also hearing from some First Nations that have declared their own local states of emergency and they're evacuating people to here in Winnipeg. We're also being told that by declaring that state of emergency province-wide, Hydro can actually start tapping into mutual aid, looking over towards Saskatchewan, Ontario, and even south of the border to the U.S. to help bring in more crews and more of their equipment so they can hopefully get some of these repairs done even quicker. Need to? All right. Great reporting as always. Stay warm out there. That is Brittany Greenslade in Winnipeg for us this morning. Thanks, Brittany. All right. Let's bring in our Kasha Badurka now for a look at our regional forecast.